If you're interested in cleaning up your diet and supporting your liver on a daily basis, certain foods are where it's at. And today we're gonna dive deep into that. But before we do, I'm Taylor Wessel, nutritionist of Tailored Health. And every Wednesday I pop on here to share a tip, tool, or technique with you that will help you be your healthiest self. Simple, easy, effective. So let's dive into some of the top foods that support liver health. Well, number one is lemons. The liver loves lemon. So incorporate it as much as possible, whether it's warm lemon water first thing in the morning or little sips before a meal to aid digestion, or you're incorporating it into salad dressings. You're squeezing it on top of salads or fish as kind of a finishing touch. Lemon does bring out a lot of the flavors in cooking. You can also use it when you're making sauces like hummus or even pesto to kind of brighten a dish up. Incorporate more lemons into your regime. The next food is kind of a category, if you will, and it is bitter leafies. So not just greens, but also some of the red, red bitter leafies like radicchio. But dandelion greens are great, kale, arugula, bitter to the mouth, sweet to the stomach, we like to say, or sweet to the stomach, or sweet to the mouth, bitter to the stomach. So liver loves bitter food, and sweet foods are actually its antithesis antithesis, whatever, however you say that word. So bitter foods stimulate bile production by the gallbladder and the gallbladder and the liver work hand in hand to support digesting food, especially fat digestion. So the more bitter leafies that you add in, whether it's incorporating some radicchio into your salads or um, dandelion, or you're throwing kale into your smoothie in the morning or making soups with some of these bitter leafy greens, that would be a great way to help support the liver just meal to meal. Beets, if you can incorporate these in, these are sort of a love it or hate it. People are either passionate about beets or they really can't stand them, but beets are very blood cleansing. So they help to flush out toxins from the liver, help to support the kidneys as well. And they're great for chi. So Ayurveda, Chinese, traditional Chinese medicine loves to incorporate beets, especially if you're on a liver detoxification protocol. And how do you do so? You can throw those into juices or smoothies. You can also saute them or roast them and incorporate them into salads or just have them as a side dish. Beets are great. So some additional items that are great for the liver, dandelion root tea. So if you are somebody who is addicted to caffeine, to coffee, to that kind of the smell and the comfort factor, have you ever tried dandelion tea? It kind of has that same aroma and feel. It certainly won't give you the buzz like a cup of joe does, but it's great for flushing the liver. So if you're going through a liver detox protocol or you just wanna support yourself on a daily basis, have some dandelion root tea. It's also herbal, so caffeine free. Other foods that help support the liver are those that are high in fiber. So a lot of your seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds, chia seeds, what happens with high fiber plant-based foods is that they bind up toxins and get them out of the body via the bowels. So they're helping just support the liver in one of its primary functions, which is detoxification. So eat more fiber-based foods, and especially those seeds. If you are getting flax seeds, buy them whole and grind them yourself. That's really important because a lot of people will just go for the ground flax seeds. It's easier to incorporate into whether you're making soups or smoothies in the morning and throwing in the flax seeds or you're topping off a saute or a sweet potato hash. That's how I like to enjoy it. But by buying them ground or whole and then grinding them yourself, flax seeds are very, um, they can go rancid very quickly. They don't last very long, not longer than a week. So when you're buying that ground bag, you're essentially eating those rancid fats. 
by buying them whole, grinding them yourself with just a coffee grinder and then keeping them in the refrigerator for set up to seven days, you're ensuring that you're getting all of those omega-3 fatty acids that are great for the brain and then the fiber that's supporting the liver. Berries are another high fiber fruit or food fruit, if you will, and they're probably one of the best fruits that you can incorporate into your diet because they're the lowest sugar, highest in fiber, and they have so many great antioxidants that support the brain. They support, they're, they fight aging. They're great for the skin. There are so many benefits to that, but one of the biggest is that they have that fiber component. So similar to seeds, they help sweep the colon and move toxins out of the system. So those are some great foods to incorporate in. Artichokes are another one. So whether you're incorporating those into salads or you're steaming an artichoke and eating that as a kind of an appetizer before you dive into your main course. Asparagus is another one. So there are so many beautiful foods that you can start incorporating into your diet. Be sure that you're adding lemon, lots of fiber, lots of plant-based foods, and that bitter element that you get from a lot of those dark leafy greens or a lot of those herbs add the bitter element to your, um, to your palate, if you will. So remember, bitter to the mouth, sweet to the stomach, helps with digestion, supports that liver. Try to avoid the sweet foods as much as possible and your liver will thank you. So if you liked this video, give it a like and just remember that this whole month I'm going to be sharing lots of tips on how to support your, your liver. We just talked about the various foods. If you're interested in some signs or symptoms of why or to indicate that you might even need to support your liver, make sure to check out last week's video, but stay tuned for next week. And I'm going to be diving into personal care products and how to support your body. Just what are some ways that you can support your body from oil pulling to, well, I'm not gonna get too far into it, but stay tuned to learn about some beyond just diet. What are some lifestyle ways that you can support your body and your liver most importantly? I'll see you there next Wednesday.